On the 20 slides shown below, I present the original photographs of the Second World War from the German archive, which are in my collection. These photos are from my collection department, Wehrmacht on the Eastern and Western Fronts. If you like it, subscribe to my YouTube, like it, so you don't miss the new weekly presentations. If you would like to order 5 inches by 7 inches copies of these photos from the original, you can specify which photos you would like to receive. Laboratory quality. Enjoy your viewing. German submarine U-203 was a German type Vieck submarine U-boat built for Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine for service during World War II. Built as yard number 632 of Friedrich Krupp German Eier Werft AG in Kiel, she was laid down on 28 March 1940, launched on 4 January 1941 and commissioned on 18 February under Kapitän Leutnant Rolf Mutzelberg. U-203 carried out 11 patrols with the first flotilla and is credited with sinking 21 ships for 94,270 gross register tons, GRT, and damaging a further 3 for 17,052 GRT. She was a member of 11 Wolf Packs. She was sunk by British carrier-borne aircraft and a British warship southeast of Greenland on 25 April 1943. German submarine U-177 was a Type IXD-2 U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine during World War II. The submarine was laid down on 25 November 1940, at the Sky Mag AGV's yard in Bremen, as yard number 1017. She was launched on 1 October 1941, and commissioned on 14 March 1942, under the command of Kapitänleutnant Wilhelm Schulze. After a period of training with the 4th U-boat flotilla at Stettin, the boat was transferred to the 10th flotilla on 1 October 1942, and based at Lorient, for frontline service, she was then reassigned to the 12th flotilla at Bordeaux on 1 December. She sank 14 ships of 87,388 gross register tons, GRT, and damaged one other of 2,588 GRT but was herself sunk on 6 February 1944, in the Atlantic west of Ascension Island by a U.S. Navy aircraft. Type 7 U-boats were the most common type of German World War II U-boat. The Type 7 was based on earlier German submarine designs going back to the World War I Type UB3 and especially the cancelled Type UG. The Type UG was designed through the Dutch dummy company NV Ingenieurs Kantor Vorskeeps Buu Den Haag, IVS, to circumvent the limitations of the Treaty of Versailles, and was built by foreign shipyards. Type 7 submarines were the most widely used U-boats of the war and were the most produced submarine class in history, with 703 built. The type had several modifications. The Type 7 was the most numerous U-boat type to be involved in the Battle of the Atlantic. The Type Vieck was the workhorse of the German U-boat force, with 568 commissioned from 1940 to 1945. The first Vieck boat commissioned was the U-93 in 1940. The Type Vieck was an effective fighting machine and was seen almost everywhere U-boats operated, although its range of only 8,500 nautical miles was not as great as that of the larger Type 9, 11,000 nautical miles, severely limiting the time it could spend in the far reaches of the western and southern Atlantic without refueling from a tender or U-boat tanker. The Vieck came into service toward the end of the first happy time near the beginning of the war and was still the most numerous type in service when Allied anti-submarine efforts finally defeated the U-boat campaign in late 1943 and 1944. Type Vieck differed from the 7B only in the addition of an active sonar and a few minor mechanical improvements, making it 2 feet longer and 8 tons heavier. 
speed and range were essentially the same. Many of these boats were fitted with snorkels in 1944 and 1945. Karl Dunitz, sometimes spelled Dunitz, German, Der Nitz, listen, the 16th of September 1891, the 24th of December 1980, was a German admiral who briefly succeeded Adolf Hitler as head of state in May 1945, holding the position until the dissolution of the Flensburg government following Germany's unconditional surrender to the Allies days later. As supreme commander of the navy beginning in 1943, he played a major role in the naval history of World War II. By his own admission, Dunitz was a dedicated Nazi and supporter of Hitler. Following the war, he was indicted as a major war criminal at the Nuremberg trials on three counts, conspiracy to commit crimes against peace, war crimes, and crimes against humanity, planning, initiating, and waging wars of aggression, and crimes against the laws of war. He was found not guilty of committing crimes against humanity, but guilty of committing crimes against peace and war crimes against the laws of war. He was sentenced to ten years imprisonment, after his release, he lived in a village near Hamburg until his death in 1980, after a prolonged illness. German submarine U 1162 was a type via Q boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine during World War II. She was ordered on 25 August 1941, and was laid down on 14 November 1942 at Danzig of AG, Danzig, as yard number 134. She was launched on 29 May 1943 and commissioned under the command of Oberleutnant Zur C. Dietrich Saxe on 15 September 1943 originally handed over to Italy with the intention to rename her S-10 in exchange for transport submarines. However, with Italy's surrender on 8 September 1943 the Kriegsmariner took the boat back over on 10 September 1943 at Danzig and commissioned her on 15 September 1943 as U-1162. U-1162 was scuttled near Gelting in Gelting Bay on 5 May 1945, as part of Operation Regenbogen. Her wreck was raised and broken up. Reinhard Rache born on 13 December 1915. Crew 34. Kapitän Leutnant, 1 of October 1941, Knight's Cross winner, 17 March 1943, died on 3 March 1993, Bad Gordersberg, Germany. Reinhard Rache 1 of Commands, U-255. U-255. One of the most successful U-boats to operate in Arctic waters, she operated from Norway during 1942 to 1943, and then from France in 1944 to 1945, sailing on 15 combat patrols, sinking 10 merchant ships totaling 47,640 GRT and damaging another of 7,191 GRT enough for it to be written off as a total loss. She also sank the 1,200-ton Zedsel-class destroyer escort USS Leopold. At the end of the war U-255 surrendered to the British, and was sunk during Operation Deadlight on 13 December 1945. German submarine U-234 was a Type XP U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine during World War II. She was commanded by Kapitänleutnant Johann Heinrich Fehler. Her first and only mission into enemy or contested territory consisted of the attempted delivery of uranium oxide and German advanced weapons technology to the Empire of Japan. After receiving Admiral Dunitz's order to surface and surrender and of Germany's unconditional surrender, the submarine's crew surrendered to the United States on 14 May 1945. The difference between KPTLT Failer's reported course to Halifax and his true course was soon realized by U.S. authorities who dispatched two destroyers to intercept U-234. On 14 May 1945, she was encountered south of the Grand Banks, 
Newfoundland by USS Sutton. Members of Sutton's crew took command of the U-boat and sailed her to the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, where U-805, U-873, and U-1228 had already surrendered. Velma Hunt, a retired Penn State University environmental health professor, has suggested U-234 may have put into two ports between her surrender and her arrival at the Portsmouth Navy Yard, once in Newfoundland, to land an American sailor who had been accidentally shot in the buttocks, and again at Casco Bay, Maine. News of U-234's surrender with her high-ranking German passengers made it a major news event. Reporters swarmed over the Navy Yard and went to sea in a small boat for a look at the submarine. As she was not needed by the U.S. Navy, U-234 was sunk off Cape Cod as a torpedo target by USS Greenfish on 20 November 1947. German submarine U-60 was a type of U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine that served in the Second World War. She was built by Deutsche Werk AG, Kiel. Ordered on 21 July 1937, she was laid down on 1 October that year as Yard No. 259. She was launched on 1 June 1939 and commissioned on the 22nd of July under the command of Oberleutnant Zur Siegeorg Scheer. U-60 was initially sent to the 5th U-boat flotilla for training, until 1 October 1939, when she was reassigned to the 1st flotilla for a frontline combat role. U-60 carried out nine war patrols, sinking three ships for a total of 7,561 gross register tons, GRT, and damaging one other of 15,434 GRT. She then became a school or training boat with the 21st flotilla for the rest of her career. She was scuttled on 5 May 1945 at Wilhelmshaven. German submarine U-12 was a type IIB U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine laid down on 20 May 1935 by German Eier Werft at Kiel and commissioned on 30 September she was sunk 8 October 1939 by a mine, near Dover in the English Channel. Her exact position is not known but it is at approximately 51 degrees 10 N01 degrees 30 E coordinates. 51 degrees 10 N01 degrees 30 E. All 27 of her crew died. The body of the commanding officer, Kapitän Lieutenant Dietrich von der Opp, was washed ashore on the French coast near Dunkirk on 29 October 1939. German submarine U 17 was a Type IIB U boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine. It was built in German Eierwerft, Kiel where it was laid down on 1 July 1935 and commissioned on 3 December 1935, under the command of Werner Fresdorf. Its career consisted of four patrols, all served while under the first U-boat flotilla where it sank three ships for a total of 1,825 gross register tons, GRT. Later in the war it served under the 22nd U-boat flotilla as a training boat, including Oberleutnant Zur C. Walter Schietek as an instructor. Schietek had previously escaped imprisonment after the disabling and sinking of U-581 by HMS Westcott in February 1942. He swam 6 kilometers, 3.7 miles, to Pico Island in the Azores, made his way through neutral Spain and returned to the Kriegsmarine to serve as an instructor on U-17, U-981, and U-3005. German submarine U-21 was a type IIB U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine. Her keel was laid down 4 March 1936, by German Eierwerft of Kiel as yard number 551. She was commissioned on 3 August 1936. During World War II, she conducted operations against enemy shipping. U-21 went on seven war patrols, sinking five ships, one auxiliary warship and damaging one warship. In July she was transferred to the 21st U-boat flotilla in Kiel as a training boat, with whom she remained for the rest of the war. U-21 was scrapped in February 1945.
Albrecht Brandy, the 20th of June 1914, the 6th of January 1966, was a German U-boat commander in Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine during World War II. Together with Wolfgang Luth, he was the only Kriegsmarine sailor who was awarded with the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves, swords, and diamonds. The Knight's Cross, German, Ritterkreuz, and its variants were the highest awards in the military and paramilitary forces of Nazi Germany during World War II. Brandy is credited with the sinking of eight merchant ships for a total of 25,879 gross register tons, GRT, one auxiliary warship of 810 GRT, and three warships of 5,000 long tons, 5,100 tons, as commander of U-617, U-380 and U-967, Brandy claimed, and was credited with, sinking 20 ships of 115,000 GRT, 3 cruisers and 12 destroyers. Although ships sunk in the Mediterranean were doubled for award purposes, and extra credit was given for sinking warships, Brandy's actual sinkings were startlingly less according to Blair. According to Dixon, Brandy sank 12 ships of 31,689 GRT. In September 1945, Brandy was released from captivity. He became a bricklayer and then studied architecture at the Staatsbauschule, State Construction School, in Essen. He designed a number of buildings which were built in Dortmund and in Saudi Arabia. For three years he served as chairman of the Association of German Architects, Bund Deutsche Architekten. He and his wife Eva had six children. German submarine U-110 was a Type IXB U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine that operated during World War II. She was captured by the Royal Navy on 9 May 1941 and provided a number of secret cipher documents to the British. U-110's capture, later given the code name Operation Primrose, was one of the biggest secrets of the war, remaining so for seven months. President Franklin D. Roosevelt was only told of the capture by Winston Churchill in January 1942. U-110's keel was laid down the 1st of February 1940 by the Sky Mag AG Visa, of Bremen, Germany as yard number 973. She was launched on the 25th of August 1940 and commissioned on the 21st of November with Kapitän Leutnant Fritz Julius Lemp in command. The boat was part of the second U-boat flotilla from her commissioning date until her loss. Lemp commanded U-110 for her entire career. In an earlier boat, U-30, he was responsible for the sinking of the passenger liner SS Athenia on the first day of the war. The circumstances were such that he was considered for court-martial. He continued, however, to be one of the most successful and rebellious commanders of his day.